What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the injury report for the Jacksonville Jaguars and for the Detroit Lions. We're back, yo. We're back with the injury report. It feels so good. It feels it's been too long. Let's get it started. No, I got a shout out to the uh, man because it was actually the first time I went live on YouTube. And uh, you know, guys don't know Dosa D, uh, he put out a lot of good content for the Detroit Lions. Welcome in everybody to another video. Glad you guys are here. And yes, yes, we're back with an injury report video. It's been over a week since we've been able to do one of these because the Detroit Lions didn't play last weekend. But now that the bye week is over, we are back. It is Wednesday. We're back in practice, and we will get these injury report updates for the next few days. Now, keep in mind, we don't know for sure who's in and who's out really until game day, unless they let us know early. But we do get to figure out if players are participating or not participating and what kind of injury they are dealing with. And you can kind of see the progression through the week. If they're not participating through the week, you probably know that player is not going to play. But maybe if it starts at no and then gets limited and then full, all of a sudden you're thinking, okay, this guy might be good to go. So it is nice to go through this and keep up to date with both teams. And the Jacksonville Jaguars put theirs out really, really early. So I appreciate that. The Lions just wait till like 4 o'clock. So it's like, man, man, I got to wait so long. But it's all good. We're first going to start off with the Jacksonville Jaguars side of things. They actually have a lot of players, but they do theirs a little bit differently. They don't actually tell you if a player was limited or full participation. They just say whether or not the player participated in practice. So that's what we're going to be touching on today. Let's go through their injury report. Starting off at the very top, they have rookie receiver LaVishka Chenault on their list who did not participate today with a hamstring injury. Man, so many hamstring injuries around the NFL. You just hate to see it. The weird offseason has led us to so many hamstring injuries. And not all of these are just because of the weird offseason schedule and just because it was short run, but a lot of them are. And we saw that really early in the year, and they continue to kind of stick around. It seems like most teams are starting to get healthy, but there's just still a few here that keep coming up, and you just hate to see it. But LaVishka Chanel is dealing with a hamstring injury. He is one of the most talented and versatile players they have on that team. I've already wrote his name down a few times when going through the game plan for this Jacksonville Jaguars team. So yeah, I mean, this is someone to definitely monitor. Speaking of players to monitor, try DJ Chark Jr. Their Pro Bowl wide receiver from last season is dealing with an ankle injury, and he also has no participation in practice today. I really struggled to say that word. No participation in practice today. So two of their top receivers out with injuries so far on Wednesday in practice. But again, keep in mind, it doesn't mean they're going to be out for the game. It just means that they didn't participate today in practice. Next up, CJ Henderson, the rookie cornerback, did participate. Again, I don't know how much, but he did participate dealing with a shoulder injury. He did not get to play last weekend. So it's a good sign for them that he is getting back to the swing of things because they were missing some top players by position last week. I mean, if you look at them last week, they were missing Miles Jack, Josh Allen, and CJ Henderson. So they want to get healthy. Next up, Chris Claybrooks, who took over a little bit of a bigger role without having CJ Henderson on the field. Now, Chris Claybrooks wasn't the best in coverage. He did struggle a little bit when you look at the stats, but he is dealing with a quadricep injury, and he also had no participation today. Josh Allen and Miles Jack were back in practice. Josh Allen dealing with a knee injury, and Miles Jack dealing with an ankle injury. Dakota Allen, another linebacker here, dealing with a foot injury. He had no participation. Brandon Linder, who had a scheduled day off, he is one of their offensive linemen, so it's not injury, just had a scheduled day off. Tyler Eifert is dealing with a neck injury at their tight end position. And finally, Abry Jones, or Avery Jones, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm saying his name. I think it's Avery Jones, who's dealing with both an ankle and hamstring injury, their defensive tackle. You hate to see it. Both, like, that's, that's messed up. But he did participate in practice today. So, six players, six total players that had no participation for the Jacksonville Jaguars and some big names on there for sure. So we'll monitor that as we goes on to see how healthy they can get, but uh, definitely some major names to keep an eye on there, especially at the receiver position, which obviously the Lions could use some help with some injuries there, but you never know. I mean, we'll just have to wait and see. Now let's move on to the Detroit Lions side of things. We're going to start off with the main name, the name that I had my eye on, and that is Justin Coleman. Justin Coleman, who was set to come off of IR, was not back in practice today. Apparently, he just wasn't ready. We don't have much more details than that, but he is still dealing with that hamstring injury, it seems, that he went out with in week one against the Chicago Bears, and we haven't seen him since then. So because of the bye week, he had some extra time, but still not ready to go. That's a little bit concerning. I don't know if he's going to play this weekend, but Justin Coleman is arguably our best cornerback, so it would be nice to see him back on the field. But no participation today. Hunter Bryant, no participation. 
has a concussion? Dealing with a concussion, this must have just happened in practice. I haven't heard anything about this up till today. That's not good. I mean, Hunter Bryant just... He just can't get any luck when it comes to injuries, man. Hunter Bryant just can't find a way to get healthy. You hate to see that, man. I'm, I'm rooting for you, Hunter Bryant. Hopefully, you get healthy through the Lions. Clearly, they show some interest in wanting to get him on the field. It just seems like they can't do it. Desmond Trufant, hamstring, no participation. Now, Desmond Trufant has been really bad. I think you can make a case he's been our worst cornerback so far. But you still don't like to see injuries. I mean, this guy just got back with a hamstring injury. And then we saw at the end of our game last week against the Saints, he kind of went out with another one. And here we go again. We don't know if this is the same hamstring or not, but no participation. Patient. So man, you did, ah, man, we just got him back. We just, I want to see him get healthy because I don't know if he was fully healthy last week. Okay, let's use that as an excuse. Let's use that. Next up, CJ Moore dealing with a calf injury had limited participation. So that's good. CJ Moore, hopefully he can get back our special team standout. Christian Jones, limited participation, still dealing with that knee, knee injury. He did play though last week. So that's a good sign. New man on this list, Frank Ragnow, dealing with a groin injury, limited participation. So he's still participating. Maybe something to keep an eye on there. I know Matt Patricia did bring up that groin injuries and hamstrings are things to kind of look out for with the weird offseason. So there's one for Frank Ragnow. We definitely don't want to see him not on the field. That would be a tough loss. However, we do have some good news when it pertains to the offensive line. Joe Dahl is back in practice. I'm assuming he was full participation because he's not on the list, but Joe Dahl was back. That means that potentially he could step in and start on the offensive line. He has been our best guard so far, and he hasn't played that much, but he's been our best guard when on the field. Now, I see people asking, well, does that mean that, you know, potentially Big V's going to go to the bench? I don't think so. I think if Joe Dahl comes back healthy, Terrell Crosby's going to go to the bench, and Big V's going to move to right tackle, and then we're going to see left guard go Joe Dahl, and then back at right guard is going to be Jonah Jackson, kind of we expected in the offseason, but because of injuries, we really didn't get to see much of that. But that's what I expect to see what the offensive line look like if Joe Dahl can be healthy. We'll see how much confident or so they have in Big V taking over that right tackle position and whether or not Joe Dahl can start this weekend. Deshaun Hand, he had full participation dealing with that chest injury and Nick Williams full participation with his shoulder injury. So both those guys are good to go in practice. Michael Ford also returned to practice and so did Bo Scarborough. Will those two players be active? I'm not sure, but keep an eye on Michael Ford, especially if Desmond Trufant can't go to potentially be active with Jeffrey Okuda, Amani Oruwarie, Michael Ford, and Daryl Roberts. That could potentially be our four heading into this Jackson Jaguars game. I feel like Okuda's look better. Amani looks like our best, usually consistently without Justin Coleman. So we could be missing two of our top corners once again. It kind of feels like week one. But keeping an eye on Michael Ford potentially being back, that would be nice to see him on the field. We know he can get the job done. Not great, but he can get the job done. And then Bo Scarborough, will we activate him? I don't know. Unless there's any injuries, not going there's not, I don't think he's going to be activated. I guess that kind of goes back to the Le'Veon Bell thing. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, man. That is what the injury report is looking like. Some good news. Hopefully we get some better news with Justin Coleman to come. Uh, but up as of now, man, that is your injury report. So yeah, I mean, I guess this, that's the end of the video. Again, follow me on Foot Chat. You know, join the group if you guys want to. It's the top link in the description. We were live yesterday. We were just chatting about the game that was going on, just having some fun in the chat. And also, we just did our giveaway in our last video. So don't miss it because, you know, you want to see who won, right? Thank you for watching, and I'm out. Are you kidding me right now? I had to put my helmet on for this one. Are you kidding? Look at this. Look at all these members. What? What? Yo, hey. Shout out to all the members, man. Look, look how many all pro members there are. Like, literally, it's the whole screen, dog. This is crazy. The patrons, of course, the Hall of Fame members, man. Y'all got the gold color. It's kind of yellow, but it's supposed to be gold. Shout out to all the members, man. If you want to be a part of this, all you got to do is join the channel. But there are perks that come with it. Stay locked in the community tab if you are a member because that's where a lot of information comes out. I appreciate all of you. What?